I'm sure you've heard time and time again how important laboratory safety is. In this video, we will discuss some of the most critical aspects of laboratory safety. This video is not meant to comprehensively cover all aspects of lab safety, but to familiarize you with the laboratory environment and provide you with the tools to build some common sense about working in a laboratory. Being safe in the lab is your personal responsibility. There may be times that people in your lab, even senior laboratory members, are not adhering to safe practices. Some labs may be lax about safety, but even if graduate students or postdocs are wearing flip-flops in the lab, you can make your own decision to wear closed-toed shoes and stay safe. This picture was taken after a lab user wearing flip-flops in lab accidentally spilled acid on themselves the lab user suffered severe burns. Many accidents in lab happen because students are rushing. The best thing you can do to prevent this is by coming to lab prepared. Material safety data sheets, which contain information about chemical hazards, can be looked up before coming to lab, and procedures should be thoroughly reviewed. Also, consult with the TA or instructor if you are not familiar with the hazards of the chemicals you are using. I can't emphasize enough how being prepared will save you time and reduce your stress in lab. In certain lab environments, you may have limited time to complete your experiments. In these situations, it is critical that you are well prepared before coming to lab. If you don't feel prepared to carry out an experiment, don't set it up at that time. You should never feel excessively rushed in lab. Rushing can lead to accidents and spills and will make you late for the very thing that you are hurrying to do. It is critical that you don't take unnecessary risks when working in the lab. If you are prepared for lab and are not rushing, you will minimize unnecessary risks. Be sure to follow your protocols exactly and do not cut corners. Not only will this help to ensure your safety, it may also save you from ruining an experiment by cutting out something that you shouldn't have. Be patient and be sure to wait for your reactions to finish. Do not skip steps. Even though it seems like this could save time, it could create a dangerous situation and ruin your reaction. Never engage in horseplay in the lab, and be careful not to startle anyone while they are working. It is important to be aware of others working around you in the lab, and to use safe practices even if you're not setting up experiments yourself. You can be injured by someone else's experiment when you least expect it. Be sure to wear proper safety attire whenever you're moving around the lab, even if you're just chatting or asking your instructor a question. You should never work alone in the lab. If you plan to stay late, be sure someone is willing to stay in lab with you. You could cut your hand doing something as simple as putting away glassware, and if there is no one around to help you, you might not even be able to bandage the cup properly. Be sure that a mentor or instructor knows how late you expect to be in the lab and that there is someone you can call if an accident happens or if your reaction does not work out as expected. If you're working in a research lab, clarify with your mentor if you can call them at home and how late you can call. It is important to minimize distractions in lab, not only for your own safety, but also for the safety of others. If you're listening to loud music through headphones, you may not hear someone that needs assistance calling for your help. It is therefore good practice to not wear headphones in lab and to keep music at a reasonable volume. To minimize distractions, you should also not talk on your cell phone in lab. If you need to make or take an important call, you should do it outside of the lab. Be sure your experiment is okay to leave unattended for a few minutes, and then wash your hands before using your phone. Although it may be tempting, you should not text in lab while you're working. If you feel you need to send a text, you should remove your gloves, wash your hands, and step outside of the lab to send the text. 
Remember, if you do not take off your gloves and there's a chemical on them, it could end up on your face the next time that you take a call. To review, distractions should be minimized when working in lab. Remember not to wear headphones. You may become distracted and may not be able to hear others that need your help. If listening to music through speakers, be sure that the volume is kept at a reasonable level. Do not talk on your cell phone while working. Instead, take a break, clean up, and move to a clean area. And remember to always remove your gloves and wash your hands before texting or touching your phone. We've touched on this a little bit, but we'd like to stress the importance of hygiene in lab. It is important to protect your skin. Skin should be protected by clothing and or a lab coat. And closed-toed shoes should be worn to protect your feet. You should not wear shorts, tank tops, or open-toed shoes in the lab. There have been a number of injuries to students who did not follow this rule. If you think your gloves have become contaminated, remove them. Wash your hands and put on a new pair of gloves. Wash your hands frequently, especially before leaving the lab. You should never consume food or drink in the lab, as this can increase your risk of ingesting trace amounts of chemicals. Accordingly, you should not chew gum in lab. Applying makeup in the lab is also discouraged for the same reason. Be sure to keep walkways clear and never store backpacks or glass bottles on the floor where they may cause someone to trip or can be knocked over. In teaching labs, when many students are present at one time, it may be difficult to find space for your belongings. If you feel that there is not enough space to store your belongings without placing them in a walkway, ask your instructor where you should put your bags. Don't just let them pile up on the floor. Finally, it is important that you maintain lab cleanliness as well. In a cluttered lab space, you are more likely to lose track of items, knock things over, and have an accident. Remember, it is your personal responsibility to maintain lab safety, no matter what others are doing. In the event of an accident, you can minimize injury by wearing proper attire and following safety guidelines. Prepare for lab ahead of time so that you do not have to rush by looking up chemical information and familiarizing yourself with procedures. Maintain safe practices when others are working in lab, even if you're not actively setting up an experiment. Make sure that you are wearing personal protective equipment when others are working in lab around you. Never work alone in lab. Make sure you have contact numbers and emergency numbers when working late. Be sure others are planning to stay as late as you and know how late you're working. Minimize distractions by not wearing headphones and controlling the volume of music played in the lab. Only talk on cell phones or text outside the lab after removing your gloves and washing your hands. Maintain good hygiene in lab with frequent hand washing and by keeping your work area clean. Never eat, drink, chew gum, or apply makeup in the lab to minimize your exposure to chemicals.